Hi, um, I'm gonna tie this fly here, or attempt to tie it. I'm gonna call it my, uh, Godzilla hop, my Godzilla stone. Um, it's made from the tail, which is right here. It's made from pheasant tail. Um, kind of a tricky fly to tie. I haven't fished it at all, but, um, um, Hopefully, it does me some good luck. Um, this is, is as tied one not too long ago, and so I should do a video of it. Um, let's see here, I think that one's a little long. I'm gonna trim my thanks, it's a little long. There it goes. Um, the overween or the thing between the rubber legs is, um, is a pheasant almond feather. Um, and then it, the rest of it, underneath the weight, there's, um, some wire, like, um, el albany or, uh, no, I mean, beading wire. Got from a crap. My mom got from a craft craft store. Um, it's bendable. It's breakable too. A little tough. Um, underneath this whole bunch of ice dub is actually pheasant tail. I was watching a video. Um, on a channel called um. <coughs> um, give me one second. Trout Predator Online. And thought I was going to tie a pheasant tail, but then I ended up m making a mistake. But then I realized, man, this thing looks pretty good. But I'm going to go and tie it. Alright, show you another thing too that you can cut up your flies. This one's one of my bad flies that I consider bad, but no flies bad in my opinion. But um, if you don't think it looks really good, just I got these scissors, they're not fly tying scissors, they're not, they're really more for dental work and surgical work. I used to work at a medical warehouse, not anymore, and uh, um, yeah, I got some from them, and uh, went on to do another job when I got a little older. I work at a bar and a restaurant called Gill Street. If you come in the area, make sure you stop on by. I clean on Sundays and Saturdays, but eh, that's probably not too important for you. <laughs> um, cut up this fly. This is, I was going to show you this, you guys, this, or gals, that you can cut up your flies. You don't think they look good after you finished it. So I'm not a professional at this. I'm more or less a beginner. I uh, love the fly type, but sometimes my flies, I just get so frustrated. Like, everyone gets frustrated, you know, and just like to cut them up. There's scissors, if anything I got. I guess these these uh, c c steel scissors are made are made more for surgical work or dental work, depending on what you seen this, seen these kind of scissors from. Not sure what brand they are, but they are very very durable and strong. So tied. I've cut up a lot of my flies on. It's already for like almost two three years, and it's. This starting to become dull because I used it so much. Making a video. Okay, bye. That was my mother. She's leaving somewhere. Um, sorry for the door slamming. I tell my mom I was making a video so she wouldn't disturb me.
for all you friends and family members out there I do have a Facebook C-O-L-I-N it's my first name it's pronounced Colin and uh, if you want to look me up my last name is very long it's D A N E N B E R G E R I do have family members that watch my YouTube videos I found out and I was so happy I want to thank you Aunt Marilyn for that for telling me that you guys are watching my videos I um love love you guys very much love if you don't love your family then <laughs> well there's no no reason why you shouldn't because they get you mad doesn't mean that's another thing too is that when you have family members and you don't think that you love they love you that's, inc that's totally incorrect all your family members love you they're maybe harder hard on you because they love you more or they don't love you more they just want you to just succeed okay I tied that other one on a big fat lure hook that I got from a friend in England um let's see here what did I yeah yeah okay give me a second to get all my stuff think I have it all um, hold on chain gonna use some bead chain for the eyes or end weight of this particular fly. I'll use my big butt. My mom gave me that. <laughs> oh well. Um I'm gonna use you for the underbody Excuse me, I moved the camera. Uh, that doesn't look too good. Let's try... Uh, it's too dark. Sorry guys. Just trying to get it... Trying to get more light in here. Hold on. There we go. Because this is a darker shirt. Okay. Use UTC in black, 70 denier, or I think that's what it is. Start it right back there. I like to use a big good thread base. And then snip it off. And I'm going to eat. Go. Tend to tie a little ball or build up a thread right there. I'm going to use a half inch tool and wrap it around three, four times around my little bobbin. Do it again. One, two, three. And make sure you keep your line, your uh, the thread tight. And if you break it, oh well. It's got those other whip finish or half hitches in there. Use two types of thread. 
for this particular fly. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of sinus drainage in my throat. Now here's another little trick. If you don't mind putting your mouth on your bobbin, you can just thread your line through the first part. If it doesn't work the first time, then do it again. I don't have good eyesight, so I'm gonna do it. Try to attempt to do it again. Put it through that little little opening in the bobbin. It's not working on me. Try this again. Need this later. Sorry for the silence. I'm trying to fix my bobbin. There we go. If it creases on it, then take it out the bobbin and undo that wrap. And then I want to tie another package to my fingers, make sure that's nice and sound. And we're going to use black monocord waxed. I assume this is still made. I'm not 100%. <laughs> Got this an old tag box from friends of a group I'm a part of. I mentioned it before. Small Off Alliance. His name is Stan. He lives in Chicago. Not sure where, but he lives in Chicago. He's part of the ISA, which is Illinois Smallmouth Alliance. Thank you, Stan, for this talk of box and the thread. I'm not sure if this is lead or this is this bead chain cut silver or nickel silver or whatever, but uh, I'm going to. The other one was this plain old beach and he got I got from a ceiling ceiling fan. Try a couple wraps on both sides. You don't know how to tie a clouser. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Go the other way. But this is what I wanted to show you. You can start at the back of it back of um, my thread's about right there. I don't know if you can see that too well. It's right there. I can move my vice just a little bit. You can try to see it. Move my camera a little bit. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna eh, not liking the angle of that. Eyes are a little crooked, but uh, oh well, it looks maybe crooked. That's another thing, too, is that the sometimes the hook can twist your eye. So, what you're gonna do is go backwards a couple times and under and over. Or, uh, wait, hold on, never done this on the video. So, you go like this, it's almost like a figure eight, I think it's what it's called. Is it called? Frappings, or there's wraps underneath, and you go under, over, under. It's almost like an under-over motion. Do that a couple of times. They're still wiggling. You still, you can do a few more. Do it the other way. Keep your thread loose for a while, and then tighten up a little bit. Okay. Yep. They're not. They're secured. I'm just gonna use my nail polish. Nail polish or um, clear it's clear clear is better than colored, but nah, you can do whatever you want. You can use black. Never personally used it, just like the clear. I fish mainly for bluegill and bass, um, and ponds. I haven't fished. <coughs> excuse me. 
have not fished many rivers or creeks. You know, there are some in my area. Sorry for the loud noise. Okay, now I'm going to tie this fly. Wrap it all the way back. Now I'm going to create the tail. I, um, here's the tail I was going to use. It's underneath. Oh, here it is. Present tail. You would never believe where I bought this. It's not even a craft store. This is more like a, this may call it like a cultural or world store. This is where I got the present tail. Earthbound mm, trading, I guess. C9, don't know what that stands for, but this is where I got that fe those pheasant tails. They had a sale in, in the mall for four pheasant tails for only $5. I was like, holy crap. So I looked, and they had some pretty decent looking ones. Just because it's not in a fight, just because you don't have a fly shop in the area. If I have a cultural or <coughs> place like, uh, it's a definitely funky names, but I'm just going to tie a clump here, but Earthbound is, what I mean by cultural is that it's got everything in it. It's more like a, you may call it like a mixed, 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 parts of the world that sell their stuff like say rugs from India or blah 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 it's things like that it's cultural it's all in one store so I'm gonna measure that I'm gonna measure half the shank of the hook so I think I like to look at that or attempt to tie it I'm gonna tie it on top and then wrap backwards to flatten it out a little bit wrap forwards this a little bit different. I actually created multiple tails, but uh, I'm going to try to save time here. Oop, too far back. Don't have too much right there. I'm going to mold this forward or whatever you want to call that. Wrapping it forward, tie it once, two, three. Uh, yep, I knew it. One. Uh, try to tie this in. <laughs> I have a hard time with my mortar skills. Like I said before, I don't have good mortar skills. But I really try to fly tie as best as I can. Like I said, I'm no professional. I am just a guy who loves fly fishing and fly tying. And surprisingly, I. People may think that there's no fly fishermen in Illinois, but you're dead wrong. I know about ten of them off the top of my head that live in my area. Not all in the same city, but eh, still. There, there are some in Illinois. There are rod throwers in Illinois, too. If you ever in the area, you can come and ask me this just send me an email because it's on my YouTube information I think feel free to email me or find my number or where I live then just yeah send me a message if you need if you need some more info on how I tie my flies or want, want some just best in from for me is to use PayPal. If you want some flies, then about five dollars or depending on how many you want. I sell this whatever you can whatever you can afford, you pay me twenty dollars, you probably get you plenty of flies. Probably close to thirty or forty. See I can see how many hooks I can buy and you white hook you like. See, that's another thing too. Most people don't realize that fly tying costs money too. But if you do it yourself and you're not professional, I would 
I usually uh just give out my five cents I ask to pay. Sometimes I don't, but if you're out of the state or out of my area, I'd rather you send me money to PayPal. Twenty dollars will probably get you thirty some odd fives, and it's better for me not to just mix and match. It's just better for that way. Um, I'm gonna put more of my nail polish. I again using this for bluegill and bass. Never fish the fly, but it looks real good when I got done with the first one. I put my nail polish on there. Make sure you don't hit your tail, I think I did, but uh, oh well. Now, okay, get my. I think the pheasant tail that I put on was just for the mistake that I made. I'm gonna attempt to do exactly what I did. Or try to uh, tie it right there. This is kind of looking like the one I tied. Okay, pull some of those out. Make sure I don't pull out too many. Go forward, pull that back, to tie that in to taper the body a little bit. I'm not usually too picky on a taper, but for this fly I was, so that's what I'm going to do. I tied a little, me caught a little, tiny little tag, right there, thread. When it calls the Godzilla stone, you notice no stone flies. There are lots of crawfish, or crawdads, what do you like to call them? Here's that little strand. One, two, three, four. Okay, making sure my. Sorry if it went dark. Computer light faded, so I just wanted to make sure you could still see my video. Attempt to tie another one here. Another piece of the pheasant tail. Where'd it go? <laughs> One bad thing about time flies, it gets a little messy, but I'm gonna no, not be changing it. Where'd it go? Hmm. Hold on, sorry for the loud noise. There it is. Uh try some more. I'm just trying a random clump. It's quite a tedious little fly that I created, but eh. I think it'd be worth it. The body that I tied before was a little bit bulkier. I tend to tie a little more sparser one in. Try that in. Create a figure eight to tie in that other stuff. Try to tie another another over under thing. Let me call it a knot, but uh, I'm not going to call it a knot. Okay. Uh. Okay. Tie this in. Use a temp to tie it in. I have a hard time with some materials. <clears throat> it's gone 20 minutes, man. Quite a big fly. I love to talk too, so that's probably part of the reason. Turn the ties kind of quickly now. See, hopefully, I can do this correctly. Let's see here. Uh, hopefully, I don't have a time limit on this webcam, but if I do, I apologize. I'm going to make another one. Even though technically you won't be able to see this video. <laughs> See here, people probably more enjoy my videos. I've had a lot more vid views than I thought I did. Okay, I'm gonna tie in the bead wire. Okay, tie that in. Pull that. Pull that. And then tie it 
down. Crane up figure eight. And I want to move that more onto the top. And I'm going to grab this backwards, a backwards red to make sure I protect it all. And then I created a little thing at the And then I hold, I hold it like you want a sand fly or if a tightboard hopper you go the other way make a more of a more of an X oop the box is not holding that hook very well apologize for that go back one more one more section let's break this off like I said before this wire is breakable it's beating wire but it's really soft I don't know what kind it is or but I'll double check that create a little body okay so that's why okay adjust my hook I used ice dub and peacock okay. see I used I used quite a bit, but I mean, in that fly, it, this bag was already almost all the way gone. Oop, that's a little too much. Find another little clump. And notice in this one, it has some bumps in it. The fibers do or something, so. Tying a little noodle. And tie it, tie it, tie the other one pretty tight. This one's part. I want to attempt to tie a little bit more faster now. Not a very fast tire. See, I can get a better view of what I'm tying. Huh. Okay. See, I mean, of course, if my line doesn't really help anything either, it's going to be real flashy. This is peacock eye stubbing again. I want to tie. Move this. Uh, okay. Like I said before, I'm trying to show you what this looks like. So, I made. I let a little piece of water shine through because I'm going to see if they like that or not. Then, this is why it's kind of bulky because I used a lot of ice stub. Said before this package was already almost gone, literally. Still plenty in there though. Okay, Let's see here, which. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, where's the other fly? Nah. <laughs> Get a little drink. Almost three minute video, that's okay. Okay. Oop, there goes my other. Next one. That's right. Um, the wing was more complicated, but I think I'm just going to get away with a mallard female duck feather. There's actually a more of a excuse me. There's an, I'll explain a little bit later after I get this fly done. It's gone on 30 minutes. Attempt to tie this in. Right about, try to tie this in. Curve it to my side a little bit. Oop, I don't want to pull it. I want it. Son of a gun. <clears throat> Okay, it's not set into where I want it, so I'm going to tie it off right there. Okay, snip off. Okay, wait. Tie that in. Probably more, a bit more bulky than the other one, but now uh, I folded that back. 
that's what I did before. I um found some duck feathers at the pond. My local pond, that's another thing you can do too. Go to your local pond, body of water, and just pick up a whole bunch of duck feathers. If there aren't any ducks, try to find some fur. That's what I do. I not found any fur yet, but found more feathers than I can ever use. I'm going to tie off this little piece that I see. And then tie in some more ice stub. Quite a, that's why it's called a Godzilla fly. It's real, real. Uh, it's going to be a long, at, long video. <laughs> Excuse me, I was about to cuss there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is why I'm going to call it the Godzilla of Stones because it's a long time to tie, but I think it's going to be worth it. I can't see it. Tying some more ice stub. Like, I would, if you look at a stone fly, I think they're pretty bulky, but. And again, I don't have any stone flies in my arms going off what I've seen in pictures and other things like that. I think this is going to imitate more of a damsel fly uh, or a uh, big dragonfly nymph or a mini stage. Let's see here. Uh, Got my brothers situated here. Okay. I'm going to tie in a mallard feather dyed wood duck. And not that one. Hold on. Can find one here. Got a whole bunch. I got plenty of bags of unused feathers. Why? I have no idea why. But I just am. Just do. Um. Sorry for not having one ready. I got so much stuff now that I just keep them in bags. Let's see here if I can find another one. <sighs> for the size of. You probably couldn't see it, but I did use. A mallard feather dyed wood duck. There's one. Yeah, that's a little too weird. I'm digging through my bag. So I see one. I'm going to attempt to find one here. Uh, it's a pretty long hard one. I'm just going to use this mallard. I'm going to use this mallard, or I'm not sure what kind of feather it is, but it's probably more for space style flies. See how big it is. Quite a big feather. I'm just going to use it for the tail of the fly, or the, to make it, the wing stand out a little bit. I like, like the way it looks, so, great. Hold on. For I probably cut the hook on the bead chain. Now I'm gonna attempt. I'm a little short. Uh, probably some of the fibers, like you would tie a minnow. You. It's gonna be a big long video. I don't mind because I'm the one who's tying it. Trying to take my time, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> See here, tie these little. I'm gonna tie in some. Nah, screw. It. Okay, I'm gonna tie in some legs using that big mallard or ridgeon or whatever kind of feather it is. Okay, try to utilize the feather a little bit. Okay, tie down the sides again. I'm gonna tie in this little piece. Tie 
tie in that. Let's see, I want to tie in that again. What I mean by multiple ween, I use multiple ween method is what I like to call it. It's a kind of kind of a complex little system I got, but uh, positive. I'm overly positive it's going to work. I am that is the almond feather, like I said. Just give me one second to find all my stuff. Use some more ice stuff. It's gonna cause the Godzilla fire, Godzilla stone. Not sure yet. Um, my ice stuff go great. <laughs> um, there we went. Okay, like I said before, this is, you probably can't see the little mallard legs, but, and they're there. Since it ties in quickly, and I used r white rubber legs for the, okay, um, the, I guess you may call them now over legs, or legs in general. Now where the heck did I put that away? Sorry for the loud noise. Uh, look. Hold on. Let me get some rubber legs. Yep, I put them away. It's a long video and I apologize for the length of it. Probably bored to death. I'm not gonna tie. It's probably not gonna take a professional to tie it this long, but I'm gonna tie. I folded it like that. Try and attempt to get them a little bit more even. I'm gonna tie in like that. Nah, no. Let's see, get them length just right. Hey, that looks pretty good. Find loose wrap, loose wrap. Commit, get them into position where you want them. Uh, tied them in just a little bit. Tighten, tighten up. Get your other, get your loop. Untwist it. Hold it backwards. Tie them in. Find that loop. Make sure you try to get it as centered as possible. It's not exactly even, but eh, oh well. Now, what I would recommend is that you use as little ice dub or use some thicker kind of dubbing for uh, like LSF or something like that. And you use it like in the green or if you can get in a peacock, I don't know if they, well, LSF or Woody Head or just some kind of a thicker dubbing so you can use more, less, I don't know what, I don't use a lot of that kind of dubbing. I don't like to experiment too much. I don't have loads of money, but quite a lot of stuff over the years. So, this bag was literally gone. Like you saw, tie this in. Darn, that's what I forgot to do. Bless America. Okay, I'm gonna tie the almond feather. This is from a pheasant I got from eBay. Uh, or part of a pheasant, I should say. And it came with a big bag of it for $10. And when I mean a big bag, I mean like a big garbage bag, humongous garbage bag. I was like surprised it was only like ten dollars. Okay, it's real real nice, okay, do 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 it's gonna be a big video. Because it is the Godzilla Fly, so or whatever to call 
wherever you would like to call it. Big green thingy. <laughs> Tie that in. Like I said before, I'm not no prof professional. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. I pulled out the feather and I tied in the excesses or the, uh, the little piece of the feather. I tied that in. Tied just a tad more dubbing if I can. It's gonna hopefully produce well for me. It's a fun pattern that I think is going to fish well and I'm going to tie off some of the feathers get it on the right side of it the shiny side of it not the dull side what I did was I just put it over it I think I did it. yeah did a couple of loose wraps to get in position where I want it Try a lot of loose wrap and then tighten up. I, those feathers don't look that good, so we tighten this feather. Or loose wraps and position where you want it again. Then if I can, just a pretty short stand. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna roll it. Tighten up. Bird. Tighten exactly the same spot, Colin. There we go. And tighten the stem finally. <laughs> and it's fly. Way too long to tie. Okay, tie in a few cross wraps to secure secure the other end if you can. If you don't crowd your eye, I use a couple of turns. A couple more. What I'm gonna do is my nail polish, put it on the wing, put it on the top of the legs and all that stuff and try and uh, get a mount of that head cement is what I'm going to use it for and then get done and put your we finish by hand or we finish by a half inch tool tying that about 43 minute fly but I think it's going to produce well for me and two it finishes make sure it's secured cut that off put a little more dot drop of it on there to make sure the thread wraps are protected and Spread that out. This probably looks shaggy, or uh, really, I need I need less racks, but I couldn't see if I can turn that. Now the wind didn't set right for me, but eh. Fold it down if I can. Nope. Oh well. But that's the fly. Looks like a Maybe a big stone fly to you, or to turn it. Right, that. Okay, there you go. Godzilla stone fly. Like I said before, it's probably gonna sink well for me. All right, goodbye.